Uh, um, what I talked about a little while ago was simply that uh, I have gained more of Christ than I ever would have imagined had I not been actively pursuing him on a daily basis, getting into his word and just, not only have I been forced to study the Bible just to make a message for Sunday morning, but I have been forced to not, to, to not just study it, but to chew on it, to meditate on it, to uh, dwell on his word. Uh, I, I have gained so much of him and, and I, I shared it before that if Christ, if, if God decides to close the doors on this church, um, I have advanced, I have grown closer to God than I ever would have had I not taken the journey. I have seen him in such miraculous, amazing ways. I have seen him um, do things that... A few <laughs> months ago, a couple months ago, there was a kid came in here and sat down there. I've been talking to him. And he was ready to give his life to Christ. He was ready to surrender his life to Christ. And I thought, we had just gone through an experience with a guy just like him. I was done with that. I didn't want anything to do with that. I was like, okay, you know what? I've got some friends at a ranch out in El Salvador. I'll take you. Well, I can't today. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Two days later, hey, can I get a ride? Okay. I'll take you. Our, our miracles, uh, I, that's all I can say, just coming out of the woodwork and supplying every one of our needs. We, we come to him, we don't even know we have a need, and he just shows up and gives it to us. Uh, but I have gained more of him than I ever would have had I not taken this journey. I make the hour journey out to Elsinore. It's really not an hour, but I like to take back the switch, take back the little wheel. Today, I got a picture on my, my friend request. And this kid is in LA at a house in LA on the next step of his program, and a picture of him is his profile on Facebook. <coughs> and it is him holding up his finger to Christ, because Christ has saved him. At that moment, I realized, <coughs> had I not taken this adventure, had I not taken this journey, that kid might not have had that experience with Christ. And uh, he is worth it. He is worth everything. I, I shared before about this kid that uh, he was ready to give his heart to Christ. I took him to a uh, uh, men's home and to see this guy months later giving his finger to Christ, you know, pointing to Christ and, and uh, just dedicating his life to Christ. That right there is worth it. If, it, if one person gets saved through this church, uh, then that is worth everything that I could ever give. He is so worth it, Christ is so worth it. And I pray that everybody will get to enjoy him uh, as much as I have and as much as I do. So this journey is worth it. This journey of seeking Christ is worth it. Whether I'm in the pulpit or I'm not, I will continually seek him and serve him and do what I can to draw close to that cross. Because he is worth it. He is my Savior and my Lord and I will do what I have to. As a pastor, I must tell you this. In the year and a half, two years almost, that we have started this journey. I have been made more aware of my need for Christ on a daily basis. And I wish, I wish, I wish, <coughs> I had taken Christ more seriously before I ever stepped into this pulpit. Because I know as a matter of fact, that had I taken Christ more seriously, the adventure would have been even better. You can have Christ right now. You can have more of Christ right now. You can have all of Christ right now. If we take him seriously, if we are made more aware of him, if we give him more of who we are. He is worth it. As believers in Christ, you and I need to make other believers in Christ more aware of him.